Hi, just like to talk to you today about a nice little drill that you can do on your own just using one stripe pad. What it does, it gets you to focus on your main combatives. If you're ever in a situation and you need to use force to get out of that situation. Obviously, you've used your awareness and if there's a chance of getting away from a situation, you get away from it. If you can talk your way out of the situation, you talk your way out. But, if it comes to a situation where you need to put combatives in, you've got to know how to do it and what is going to work. So this is a great way of training that. Combatives are strikes that we know will not let us down when we're highly stressed and highly adrenalised. The best combatives that I like to use is a palm strike, hammer fist, elbow and knee. The palm strike and the hammer fist can be your initial combative in a situation. And I'm going to show you how these work. So, we use our non-dominant hand to hold the pad. Now in a situation, you would probably, with your guard up and you know you've got a strike, is come in and grab the person and hit him. Hit him. So we can use this as almost the guy's head. We're also going to be looking at a drop step. How we develop more power into our initial strike and then obviously go forwards and hit with our other strikes. So, from here, we're going to look at the palm strike. So we train, our hands are up. Obviously we'd have two hands up, you know. In this situation as a guard, you know, we could be like this, this situation, like this, yeah, or even like that. All depends on the range of the person coming into you. So from here, we train, and you've got to sh extend the venom into that person. It's no use doing this. It's not going to hurt anything. It will knock a skin off a rice pudding. Yeah? You've got to understand, you've got to be in this situation. The guy's in your face. You're adrenalised, you're worried, you've got tunnel vision. Yeah? You don't want to be here. Everyone feels like this. And from here, I'm here like this. Bang! No! Yeah? You practice that. Get it, you, get your brain used to knowing that if you're going to hit someone, you're going to have your hand here. It's not going to draw back. It's going to step in. So from here, one, two, three, and hit. Yeah? Same with hammer fist. From the hammer fist here, yeah? I step in. One, two, three, and I hit downwards. Yeah? But look how I, if you can see my feet, I drop step in. When you hit, as you drop, it gives you so much more power rather than just hitting with your hand. Did you notice my hip was turning as well? So at the same time, I drop, hit, in. Bang! In it goes. The elbow strike. Again, from this situation. From here, my head's tucked in, my elbow's tight. I don't draw the elbow back. I step in and hit and keep everything tight. So from here, one, two, three, drop into him. And finally, the last combative that we know works, the knee. Transfer the pad, both hands as though we're on the back of the guy's neck, and in, extend, in, extend, in. Yeah? Now as you can see, I'm not training in anything like you would in a gym. I'm training in regular gear. If I was going out shopping, going to Tesco's in the car park, it's the sort of gear I'd wear. So I get my body used to reacting in this sort of situation, but also in the gear that I would normally wear. If you train all the time in a tracksuit and in your trainers, you know, that's another thing your body's used to. So when a situation turns up and someone grabs you in a pub by your, your jumper, your shirt, by your tie, and you're not used to that because you don't train in that, it's a negative that your body isn't quite used to. So by training this in the gear that you're in, your body, your mind, is remembering how to react. So when we put it together, we hold the pad up here, my hands here, and I'm going to do all four strikes. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. And we can train that. Yeah, just on your own. From here, just a 
single palm strike, the guy's got hold of you, your hands are up, you're frightened. Yeah? yeah? Might decide to give an elbow. He's right in your face here. Yeah? A little bit closer. Yeah? From here, look, I don't want trouble, mate. Bang! Yeah? We never do one. Yeah? Bang! 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 Hammer! Hammer! This is a great little drill to use on your own. Just a pad. Train on your own. Knees, elbows, palms, hammer fists. Train them all. And when you train, look at what you're doing. Don't drop your hand back. Keep your hand forward as in the guard so it goes forward. Elbow doesn't do this. From there, it just curls in. Slight step to off to one side. One. Knee. A kick back. Hip goes in and through. Hammer fist from here. Could be on the back of the guy's neck. Anything. Could be to the side. Yeah? From here. My hand is not doing that. It's that. That. So the power from here. No! I drop. No! Great little drill to use. Give it a go. See what you think. And like I say, sometimes training civvies. Yeah, because that's what you'll be using, wearing, if ever a situation develops. I hope this helps. Have a mess around with it. All the best. Keep safe.